What's up guys, Lumion 12 has just been released and there are some cool features that might just make you want to upgrade to this latest version. Let's check out these new features in this video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy topics about architecture, 3D modeling, rendering, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. And occasionally I may share something about something in my personal life, but I try to stay on topic with architecture. So anyhow, Lumion 12, it's here. What's it all about? Is it worth you going out and purchasing? Well, if you go to Lumion 12, we'll briefly go over some of the new features and some of the things that I'm actually excited about this new version. And just to uh, let you guys know, I haven't purchased it yet. I haven't installed it. So I'm just going to be going over what's available here on Lumion's website. But if, um, if you keep tuning in, I may end up buying this. I probably will eventually. But, you know, I just bought... Lumion 11.5 not that long ago, so I'm kind of hesitant to jump in and spend. Uh, it's about $1,100 for the upgrade from Lumion 11.5 to 12 now. So, you know, a little hesitant on that, but I probably will do it. But let's go ahead and I'm just going to click through this uh, uh, demonstration video that they have there. And really, some really nice work from these designers on here. Um, some really cool things that they're showing that this new version could do but one of the things that they are um, promoting a lot in this new version is this new volumetric lighting so we can see it going on here which is kind of similar to the god rays in some of the earlier versions but um, this new feature is going to do a little bit more so this is really cool what's happening here so we have a light source in here and in previous versions you might see the shadows being cast on um, you know your your objects but what it's doing here is it has this volumetric feeling here uh, that's really neat and I think this is something that a lot of people are gonna enjoy using and it's something I think for stage lighting that I think a lot of people can find this light useful and even for for items like this now it kind of gives a little bit of a uh, a hazy feeling to it but but I really like it. it really sets that that mood in in this scene here now one thing I do like as well and they discuss it in some of the other uh, uh, videos or, or descriptions of this upgrade is the wall textures so here we have a bit of an irregular um, wall texture or material and I really like that you know you're not seeing a repeating pattern as much so I think that's really cool. That's something that I know a lot of designers look for in textures. You don't want to see the pattern. So that's really good that they've actually added a lot of that in this latest version. So let's keep on going here. And uh, yeah, just the, the realism, it just keeps getting better and better with these Lumion uh, upgrades that, that they keep coming out with. And there you see the volumetric light again, if we can back up there let's see yeah so even in the, the the volumetric light is actually coming out here and you kind of see that that's that's really cool really nice feature so some of these scenes are, are really just fantastic that they are showing here as the little demonstration video here these interior scenes just keep getting better I, I think Lumion's come a long way with interior rendering love that skyline in the background that is awesome and there's the night shot too. Really cool. Well, fantastic video highlighting the, uh, man, it's bright, okay. Highlighting what you can do with Lumion 12. And if we go down here to the, some of the new features. So here we have the volumetric spotlights effect, and this is pro only. So you gotta, you gotta cough up that money for pro if you want to get some of these new features. So here it is, it casts a visible beam of light through your scene. So as we see that there, let's go to zoom in a bit. Yeah, we can see the, the volumetric lights being shown through there. And here, the same thing, they talk about the volumetric lights, volumetric spotlights being uh, placed in the pool. So that's something that, um, that I've, I've used spotlights for pools uh, in the past. So I'm curious to see how this new volumetric spotlight behaves in a pool but there it looks really good so that, that's really really nice 
and there you see the volumetric sunlight in the uh, night scene there and here in the, this uh, rain and snow scene as well and here's another feature that they added is you can now control the light color temperature with uh, in Kelvin scale so that there's a Kelvin scale and now here it says which measures colors from warm 3000 Kelvin to cold 7000 Kelvin so you're now going to be able to adjust that in real numbers on in your scene and here you can see how it's affecting it here so definitely kind of give it that warm and and uh, cold feel to the room so a nice nice feature that they added there some of this stuff you may have been doing in post-processing but Lumion is trying to eliminate some of that and you not having to do so much in post-processing and able to handle most of that in Lumion itself. Another new feature is the surface decals again pro only it looks like most of these upgrades are for the pro only version so here's one where it's uh, adding 142 new service decals um, transform services with imperfections wall art exposed brick chalk drawings paint road markings so I believe these arrows and these road markings here are part of a new texture uh, or material that you can add so that's that's kind of cool it's always nice to have a nice road feature or no, road material that you can add and here we see the the imperfections in the walls being shown so again it doesn't look repetitive another cool feature that they added is license plates so now your vehicles that you add into Lumion can now be adjusted to have not only a license plate but you can place a license plate of the state you are in or you are designing for so I thought that was kind of cool when I started reading this uh, before I even read the 50 states the first question I had was can I add my state and sure enough the guys at Lumion already thought of that and added the 50 states so pretty cool guys that's a cool feature 41 new fine detailed nature items so those are always really good to have um, so just we'll be able to go through those I don't have the version yet so I'm not gonna be able to show you what are the new uh, fine detail nature objects but I'm sure they'll be really good and here we have 570 new library items again pro only and one of the things that I think that they may have addressed in this new version which um, I complained about in the previous one was that they added a bunch of retro items which you know what we don't need retro items as much some people may enjoy it but we need furniture that we can actually use in our models you know modern furniture people want to see modern uh beddings all that stuff so it seems like they've added some stylish furniture for interiors and exteriors including sofas seats tables and much more so i'm excited to see what those entail um, 31 garden items 15 new transportation items. I think they've done a great job with the vehicles in Lumion. There's some really cool cars, really new cars that they have on there. And now with the license plate feature, that's even cooler. So great job with the, the cars, uh, solar panels, solar heaters, electric car charger. That's, that's becoming more of a thing that people are going to be having in their houses. So that's cool that that's available. Uh, more modern televisions. Uh, Lumion didn't really have a lot of modern flat screens. So um, I'm excited to see some of that. Uh, new people in lifelike poses, new character animations, and more assorted objects such as wall art, garage items, and lived in beds. So very cool. I think that's um, probably going to be some really good upgrades in there uh, into the material library or the object library. And here they say that uh, Lumion 12 Pro content library is now up to 6,903 items. That's a lot of items. I think if there's some items that are not really being used, I don't know if Lumion has a way of tracking that, but maybe we can eliminate some. Here, uh, 65 new materials. Again, I think they're going more towards this materials that have imperfections and things like that. So I think that's really cool. Looking forward to maybe seeing some of those and possibly using them. And in addition to that, they've made some workflow changes for live sync. Um, I, I've tried using live sync before and I didn't have much success with it. Um, it did work, but uh, I had issues where it would just like clear out all my material selections and that was very frustrating. Now I was live syncing from SketchUp to Lumion. So 
I may need to give it a try again to see if that improves uh, my workflow. Um, but one thing that they added was they added some more softwares um, that can be that are compatible with the live sync. So if you're if you're really used to using that, that's some um, some new features that they have there. Improved open street maps and improved scene building experience. So lots of new features in this new version of Lumion. My personal opinion is if you do not have Lumion and you're going to get it, um, this is a good time to jump in. Let's go ahead and click this video again here. But it's a good time to jump in if you're trying to, to, to get into Lumion. If you already have 11.5 11 or 11, is it time to upgrade? Uh, you know, it's if you can afford it, absolutely. If it's, if it's you know, not an issue for you to upgrade from wherever you're at, I mean, I'm sure it would be worth it. Um, if it is an issue, if, if the finances are not there for you to, to spend $1,100 for that upgrade to 12, I mean, 11.5 is a great uh, addition of Lumion. You may want to stay there for a little bit, um, but I am excited about some of the features in this Lumion 12. So anyways, guys, that's my quick overview of Lumion 12. If you like this video, please click that like button. Um, hopefully I'll be at, um, owning the software soon and I'll be able to do a full uh, review and uh, show you what it's like to actually use it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Thanks.